Hello there. What you're seeing in the background are red hot chili peppers. They're easy to grow. Um, you can actually grow them in pots. You just uh, dry the seeds, stick them in the ground, and this is what you get. And when you buy crushed red pepper in the supermarket, in those jars, this is where they come from. They uh, pretty much just grind up the dried red chili pepper, bottle it, and sell it for a bag of money. But you can do it yourself. Anyways, want to talk about peppers today because um, my dad celebrated his 88th birthday on the 15th of February. I've talked about him before. He is a strong 88-year-old. He's totally sharp and in his right mind, does all his business transactions himself, goes to town and pays his light, water, telephone bill every single month. Uh, he lives in Jamaica, where I'm from, and he walks a mile and a half every Friday to go to the market. Uh, he used to walk with the grocery home, but he doesn't do that anymore. He'll grab a taxi and he walks a mile to church every single Sunday and back. And he is ever so busy all day in his garden, uh, which is up the hill, the back of his, uh, of his house. He, his house is on about a quarter acre of land and, uh, a half of that uh, is for the house and the other half uh, he uses for his gardening up the hill. And he plants all kinds of things. He plants, he has guinea hen weed and ceracy and mint, peppers, banana, papaya, name it. Sugar cane, it's all up there. Peas and beans, yes. And he's always pulling weeds, just very busy in his garden. And these are some of the things that have kept him uh, so strong for so long. Um, a lot of what he eats comes from his little garden at the back. And um, his neighbor also, they grow pumpkin and coyote squash. And, uh, and um, among so many other things. So my dad is strong. Uh, he cleans his own house. He has a nice big house uh, in Jamaica. Has lived there for almost 60 years. He keeps it really, really clean uh, by himself. Cleans his house, sweeps and mops. He does his own laundry. He washes his clothes by hands, hang them on the line, and he irons them himself. He cooks fresh foods every single day. And um, what else can I tell you? He's just self-sufficient, man, <laughs> at 88 years old. And he is one of my heroes that I love to talk about on my channel. So this gentleman is not really my biological dad. He adopted me when, 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 uh, when I was young because he and his wife, whom I call my mom, could not have children, so they kind of took me and raised me as their child. He's my hero. Now, this gentleman has a sister in the United States who, who is about 77 years old, and she has a lot of health issues, including heart disease and circulation problems and a brittle diabetic where she's on insulin. I called her. Uh, on my dad's birthday to remind her to give him a call. And uh, we got to talking about her health. Now, she tells me that she has uh, really bad circulation problems in her feet and her legs. They were able to open up one vein, but there are other small veins that they cannot get to. So the feet are often cold, like ice, she said, and very painful. So she's not able to do any much of 
much or any walking, which as we know, walking is man's best medicine. So I know based on previous conversation that she's really not into bush and herbs. She's one of those that has been brainwashed by uh, Western medicine. And she believes in the doctor and she believes in the drugs, which I did also at one time. But she told me that the doctors, these are her words, the doctors and the medicines are not doing much anyway. So I'm open to uh, bush and herbs. So I quickly uh, educated her a little bit on uh, the health benefits of cayenne pepper and how cayenne is a potent um, vasodilator, also anti-inflammatory, and a lot of disease conditions in our bodies are due to inflammation. Uh, I asked her to do some research, but I told her that cayenne pepper is like it's it's you could it's like aspirin it'll open those blood vessels and so the blood flow freely okay so it's a really good clot buster and uh and um antiplatelet agent and it it helps to open up those blood vessels so that the blood can flow and that is the problem she's having in her feet and in her legs, blood flow issue. See, diabetes comes with circulation issues among so many other things. I also went on to tell her that the good old Moringa powder, Moringa leaves, Moringa seeds are very helpful with regulating um, diabetes and blood sugar problems. I also went on to tell her that my dad, some years ago, a doctor had told him that he had a touch of diabetes. And my dad told me that a nurse who is into herbal remedies and natural way of treating oneself told him to add cinnamon to his teas every day. And that was probably 20 years or more ago, he said. And ever since when he boils his Cerisee, mint, and guinea hen, which is his daily tea, he adds cinnamon powder to that. And um, sometimes he adds a little bit of honey, but cinnamon powder is his sweetener. And he told me that, the, the nurse told him that cinnamon helps to regulate the blood sugar. So um, my dad's sister said, oh yes, I've heard of that. Cinnamon powder is good for blood sugar. And she said, yes. Yeah. So that is why the Rasta man always cooks with so much pepper, she said. I didn't know that peppers were so good for you. And she went on to say, now I know why the Rasta man always eats so much pepper. Now that is true. The Rastafarian movement uh, is big in nutrition. They don't do much, if any, meat or flesh. They're plant-based eaters. And ever since I've been a child, I've heard that, that you, you hardly ever see a fat Rasta. I've never seen one. They're usually slender, flat tummy, and... Uh, lean and that's because they don't eat much they generally eat the food from their their own garden or farm and they're plant-based eaters and she said yeah they always eat good and they eat a lot of pepper so she told me she's going to incorporate cayenne pepper in her daily regimen i do Every day I cook with these hot, spicy, chili, cayenne, pepper. I cook with them. And I also have the powder, good quality powder uh, from a whole, from a, uh, like a, from a, a good quality powder. 
Okay, usually the one in the glass container is better than these plastic stuff because plastic is not good for us. So I buy the cayenne pepper in the glass container and I add cayenne pepper powder to my food every single day. When I first started out, I started with a tiny pinch because you have to get used to it. And then I gradually, gradually increase. And I think now I could easily put a quarter teaspoon of cayenne powder in my food. It doesn't burn me or anything like that. Now, many people think that this will flare up their ulcer or their stomach problem. On the contrary, I find that cayenne pepper powder helps any stomach issues that, that I might have. So, you know, I, I don't know of anyone who is a pepper lover that says that pepper bothers their stomach and flares up their ulcer. In fact, research has shown that cayenne heals ulcers and uh, stomach issues. Uh, when I was a youngster in my 20s and stuff, whenever I ate pepper, it would burn at the other end. Perhaps I didn't know what how to do it or what to do. I don't know. Maybe the body just needs to get used to it. I don't have any such problems now. But pepper, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, loads of vitamin C, among other uh, nutrients and it's a wonderful blood thinner and a vasodilator that will help to prevent blood clots from forming in our bodies or helps to break them up if we do have them. So yes, this is a wonderful God food to add to our daily regimen if we're on the quest of um, uh, eating healthy um, and remain healthy and live a long, healthy life like my dad at 88 years old. He has these tiny peppers in his yard. He calls them bird pepper. They're very, very hot, but they're wonderful and very, very healthy. And my dad uses them every single day in his meals also. He cooks religiously. My dad cooks religiously with lots of garlic, lots of onion, the peppers. Um, and he also used scallion and thyme. Uh, those are his go-to seasoning. Not very, the thing is that here people tend to use a whole lot of different spices and stuff. But in the islands, the elderly people cook simple, but it's very delicious. And another thing is that my dad doesn't eat, he eats meat. In fact, he loves pork. But they eat small portion of meat or small portion of fish. My dad doesn't eat chicken nor eggs. He said years ago, chicken and eggs made him sick, so he doesn't bother with it. But his main flesh is fish. And then once in a while, he'll cook a piece of pork or a piece of beef. And a pound will last him a whole week because he doesn't eat much of it. Uh, they just naturally eat a lot of plants without saying that they're plant-based eaters. Yam, potato, uh, malanga. Coyote squash, carrots, green banana, green plantain, ripe banana, ripe plantain, uh, pumpkin, squashes. Uh, those are the foods that they eat on a regular basis. My dad doesn't do rice. There was a time when he used to do rice once a week on Sundays. He has cut that out. My mom, who was 84, cut that out. They eat the roots. The roots. Um... So they're essentially plant-based eaters. So the secret to a long, healthy life, staying active, and you don't have to go to a gym. You can stay active, walking, gardening, cleaning your house, those kinds of things, and uh, eating a healthy diet, small portions, stay out of the fast food joints, and get good sleep, 
eight hours of good sleep at night, go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. It's a very good habit. Keep your stress level down and make time for fun, to enjoy life and do the things that you like and you enjoy doing. Because I think if we're not enjoying life, then what's the point? Okay, life is for living and living well and enjoying in spite of the ups and downs and the challenges. God bless you and take care. Plan something this spring season. Even if you live in an apartment, you can get a couple of pots, put some tomato seeds in it or pepper seeds or something and plant something by your window or at the back. Um, just so long as the plant gets some sunlight, usually they can do well. Because the only way to guarantee that it's truly organic is if you grow it yourself. Take care and God bless you. And like the Rasta man, Make sure you adopt a healthy lifestyle, a primarily plant-based diet, okay? And they don't overeat generally. And definitely the Rasta man, he usually, he or she, usually is not stressed out, okay? They live very simple life. And that's the way I believe that life was meant to live. Simple and enjoyable. Take care. And God bless you.